All right, guys, welcome to this training video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and easily create a table from your JSON array. So first, what I'm gonna show you is just a finished product as to what we are going to be building. And then we're gonna dive into how we built that. So for example, I have this screen right here, which is a demo project that I created for you guys, which you can download it from the link below. So the first button, what it does is exactly what it says. It creates a JSON array. So if I click on this button or on the right hand side, I'm using, by the way, Google Chrome. And most of you guys should be using Google Chrome because it's one of the modern and the most fastest browser out there. And if you are using Internet Explorer, well, good luck with you because you're going to need it. But anyway, moving on. So if I click on this button right here, it's going to create a JSON array for me with 10 different objects. So let me do that. Click on this button. So you can see right now, it took literally like 20 milliseconds to create an array. And then within this array, we have 10 different objects because you can see at the length at the bottom of it, it says 10. So if I open one of these up, and then it will tell me that I have an email address as an object, and then I have a first name, ID, an IP address. So what if you have this data that you got from your Ajax call or some other process and you want to turn this data of 10 rows into a nice looking HTML table? How can you efficiently do that? And more importantly, how can you do it quickly with the very minimum code requirement for you to type in? So the next thing what I want to show you is exactly that. With one line of code, you can turn all of this nice uh, JSON data into a pretty looking table. So let me, I'm going to click right here to create a table. And then with this one line of code, which I will show you how to do that, it created this nice looking table. And every time you click on the create table process, it's going to create a new data that it comes in and then let's look under the hood what's going on so let me bring up the source table source code and then here i'm using the top two line as a bootstrap just to make it easier and then after that i'm using jquery and then bootstrap js as well along with my library that i created that you guys are more than welcome to use which by the end of this tutorial, you will see why. And I'm using awesome functions library. And then this library right here is called chance JS. And let me show you what it does. Chance, if you go to hop on over to chancejs.com, it will allow you to create dummy data on demand. Like for example, if you want to create a an age on different people you can do that if you want to create a birthday a first name and so on and so forth the different data so for what we what i did was i took that library and created a function called create json array and in here i told it to create only 10 rows and then loop through it right here and in here i'm creating an array and within the array, I have an ID, which is just a line number. That's all it is. And then the first name is the field that I created. And then I'm using chance library to say, hey, create me a random generated first name. And then for the email, I'm doing the same thing. You can specify which domain you wanted to use as an email, just like fake data. It could be Gmail, Yahoo, or mywebsite.com or something like that, whatever. You could do that as well and along with the uh, random generated IP address. So basically what this function does, it, it just creates me a uh, random JSON array data. That's all that is doing. And then what I'm doing is one, let me put this in side by side for you guys so you can understand. So when I click on, let me close this out and refresh this browser. So when I click on this button where it says create JSON data, it's gonna click on this event and then basically what's happening and i'm saying hey go to my json array function which is right here and create me a data of 10 rows and then just console that out and that's exactly what's happening in here so let me put it in here 
So this is the console. If I click here, and then there it is. There's all of my 10 rows. All right. And the next line of code, which will blow your mind up. Like I said before, with just one line of code, you can create yourself a nice looking table. So let me show you one of two ways. The first way is just to, let me copy this up and then I'll show you what I mean. Actually, let's do this. So this function, we already talked about where it creates the 10 rows of your JSON data. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this data variable and I'm gonna run through it with this particular uh, function, which is part of the awesome functions library. And that's all you need to do, just dump it in here, your data variable. So let me save this and then rerun this thing. So if you just leave it the way it is, like for example, it's called JS create table and then dump in the JSON array. This is what it's going to do. It's gonna take whatever your field names are, it's gonna label it up top. And yeah, if you're happy with that, you don't have to worry about it. However, if you want to change your field name or column lanes, column names for that matter, you can easily modify it by using it this way. It takes two parameter. First is your data. Second is your column names. And when I say column names, what I'm referring to is these IDs. So like, for example, your ID, your first name, your email, and IP address one, and so on and so forth. All right, so actually, let me show you this way, because I just saw it where it didn't change it because I did not refresh the page. So if I refresh the page now, you will see where it says IP, it will say IP address one, so let me do that. So I refresh the page and go in here, and as you see, it says IP address one, that's because in our, when we were creating our array, it says IP address one. So that matches up. So now, if you wanna customize your column headings, all you basically do is use the second parameter, so you tell, put it in an array. So in this case, I want the first column to say line one, name, user ID, and IP, um, just for the hell of it, call it user IP, and then save it. So it's gonna have same number of columns as it has it up here. And then I'm gonna go back here and refresh it. And then I click on array, I mean create table. And then there it is. Like think, just think about it for a second. With just one line of code, you created this 10 call, 10 row table. If you wanted to do it more, let's say if it's thousand or whatever, I'll just do it for hundred for now. So I'll save this. It does not matter the amount of data that you have, it's gonna loop right through it. So if I refresh this page, I have it set to 100 rows. So I'm gonna create this table for 100 rows and then voila, there you go. And this thing is pretty awesome. So give this a try, I hope this will help you. And then use this in your own projects if you'd like to. And let me know in the comments below or send me an email or whatever and how this will help you. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.